Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you just how feature packed and how powerful the Samsung Gallery is. Now we're not gonna go through all of the editing features just because I've done that before in other videos. So we will not go through photo assist with generative edit, sketch to image, portrait studio. I'm not gonna show you the audio eraser for videos. I'm gonna show you a bunch of other things that maybe you didn't know that your Samsung Gallery was able to do. Now the first feature that I wanna show off is how you're able to draw perfect lines, perfect shapes, and you can do that with your finger or with the S Pen. You can also do this inside of Samsung Notes as well. But since we're inside the gallery, I'm gonna go right over here to this little edit icon. Then you move over here to the smiley face with the drawing icon right there as well. This is where you have draw, stickers, and text. Now in here, this is where you can change if you want it to be a pen, a marker, you know, you have your eraser right there. This is where you can switch between, you know, what you want all of these things to look like. You can change your colors. You have the entire rainbow pretty much right inside of there. You can tap this one and choose whatever color you would like to use. So now that you have whatever, you know, you would like to draw with, this is where you're able to draw. Now, if you just draw like a line like this, that one's pretty close. Now, if you keep your finger on the screen, it makes it into a perfect straight line. Then I can turn this into like a perfect arrow, pretty much. The other thing that you can also do is you can do shape. So if I draw a circle and I keep my finger on the screen, it's gonna put it there. So that's pretty much more of an oval. Let's see if I can make a better circle. There we go, that's a perfect circle right there. You can do this with a triangle. Now what's fun is you can also create a star. So if you do something like that, right? If you keep your finger on the screen, it'll actually turn it into a star. So if I do this, boom. So now you got the star. You can do this with squares with uh, uh, pentagons, pretty much whatever you would like to draw. If you keep your finger on the screen, it'll turn it into a perfect shape. Feature number two, this is how you're able to make a instant super slow-mo video. And it's actually very simple. There's no editing that you would have to do. As you are watching a video, if there's a point where it gets you know beautiful or awesome and you want it to be super slow-mo, just press and hold on the screen. So as you are pressing and holding, as you're watching the video, this is actually going in super slow-mo right now. And then once you let go, you have this download icon. So you tap on the download icon and now you're saving that slow-mo clip and now it's gonna be a part of your gallery. And now you can just watch that alone as its own video. So here it is. That is the super slow-mo video that we just grabbed from this video over here without doing any type of editing. We just did a press and hold and then we tapped save. Feature number three, this is where you're able to upscale images. If you were to zoom in or remaster or edit, or if you have a motion photo and you change the keyframe, all you'd have to do is head right back to your main image right here of the gallery. This is where you see pictures, albums, stories, and here's your menu. Now underneath menu, this is where you go inside of settings. So once you go inside of settings, beforehand, remember we talked about all of the editing stuff right below it, right there, there's one that's called Detail Enhancer. So out of the box, it is on minimum, which means it'll automatically upscale the resolution when you crop or remaster an image or when you change the key image on a motion photo. It's almost word for word what I said. So this is where you can change it to maximum. So it'll automatically upscale to the maximum resolution when you crop or remaster an image. Feature number four, this is how you're able to change the layout when you take a look at your photos with inside of albums. So what I mean by that is on the bottom, you got your pictures, here's your albums. Underneath albums, let's say that you go to your camera. Now, some of you may or may not have this side over here, which is showing the albums. So then this way you'd be able to tap on an album and it's gonna show you those pictures that is a part of that. So here's my screenshots, I'm able to scroll through. If you don't see this and yours pretty much looks like this, meaning you go into an album, right? And you don't have anything. If you swipe down and then swipe over, now you can have your albums on the left-hand side so you can switch between whatever you are doing in all of these images. Now, the other thing that you can also do is you can change uh, how you want your, your pictures to look. Do you want them to be a little bit closer? Do you want them to be further away? Do you want them to be tiny? Do you want the, the layout to kind of be like this? So however you want your layout to be, you can do your pinch to zooms uh, and you're able to make them bigger or smaller. Uh, if you don't want the albums to show, if you want the albums to show, that is how you're able to fully change the way that your albums page looks like when you take a look at pictures. 
Feature number five, this one might not pertain to everybody, but at least it's something to know in your back pocket. And that is if you shoot videos, you can change the format of the video. So this one is shot in HEVC, which was just right out of the box. It's the high efficiency video format. It kind of brings the file size a little bit smaller while keeping all of the detail, but the HEVC is not as compatible as the uh, H.264. So if you're trying to do something with a video, share it somewhere, edit it somewhere, move it somewhere, and you're having issues, what you'd want to do is when you go to this video, I hit on the little edit icon on the top right hand side, you go to size and format. So here you can see that my size is ultra HD and the format is HEVC. So it saves the space. It's high efficiency. You can tap on this and you can move it over here and it even says the H.264 is the most compatible file. Sometimes when I edit videos, I sometimes like to put it in the 264 so I know for a fact I'm never going to run into any issues or problems, especially if there's HDR and a few additional things that is attached to it. So this is how, once you hit on done and then you hit on save, this one is now going to be the H.264. So how about, let's say that you shot a couple very large videos and they're long. Maybe you wanted to save space. Do the same thing here and up there, change the format to HEVC so it'll bring down that file size so you're able to save a little bit more space on your storage of your Samsung phone. And just to show you one more time how you're able to check, all you have to do is just go to the video or the, for the photo, you can see all the details and you swipe up. This is gonna give you all the details. So here you can see now it is H.264. That's how I can change it. Now you can see the size, it's a little bit larger, but if it was a very long video, it would make a bigger difference. Beforehand, it was in like the 400 megabytes area. Now it's uh, 550. And now to close out this video, I'm gonna merge kind of two into one because it's almost the exact same thing. We're talking about how your albums look. So right now I have essential albums only, but if I tap on view all, you can see all the rest of my albums. So maybe some of you want to show all, or maybe you don't, this is how you can change it. So this right now is the essential albums. You just head over into menu, you go to settings, and then you scroll down and you have this option here, which is select essential albums. So if I turn that off, now all of my albums are sitting right here. And again, I don't need all of them there. Maybe I just want my main albums to be shown. So this is where you go right back inside and you select the essential albums. So now that you've done that, you have your essential albums sitting here, but you might want to make a few additional changes. So once you have that on the top right hand side, you have those three little dots. And this is where you're able to select essential albums. So you can see that I got this one selected, this one selected, this one, this one, and this one. I took that one off because I don't need to have recents. If there's any of these other ones down here that I would like to select, I can just tap on it. And now that's gonna be a part of my uh, essential albums that will be viewed in this screen here. Now, the other thing I wanna show off, this was pretty much the thing I merged in with it because it is how you view your albums. That is if there's an album that you would like to hide. So when I go to view all, there is, you know, that much. Now there could be one that is not there and it's right here underneath hide items. So I have an album that's called cut. So I basically bulked up. I went as high as I could, as big as I could, protein shakes and everything. And then I pretty much was kind of documenting the cut that I was doing. So now that I have lost, you know, 23, 24 pounds from my bulk, I have it in a hidden folder that wouldn't be able to be viewed right here because I shoot YouTube videos. I don't need to have my upper body naked uh, inside of the albums. So that is what you're able to do when it comes down to uh, everything with your albums view. You can turn on the essential. You don't have to have everything there. You can hide an album if you want to. Now, the last thing with this one, though, is let's say that there is a album that you do want to fully hide. You like you don't want it to just be like right here to turn on or turn off. You want to move it over into your secure folder. So this could be like if you are shopping for Valentine's Day, if you're doing something for birthdays or Christmas and you're taking pictures of ideas, you put it into a certain album. So it's not only in like one of these up here. So once you do that, all you'd have to do is press and hold. And then what you could do is you go to more and underneath more. This is then where you want to move it to secure folder. So then this way you can go to your secure folder side where it is hidden by a password or however you got that all set up. So then this way you'd be able to go back and revert to it 
for whatever Christmas gifts or ideas that you are doing. So that is everything that you're able to do with the gallery outside of editing photos and videos. There's a lot of features in there. Everything is all jam packed. So let me know if there's something that you learned new in this video. Hopefully you guys have appreciated it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.